guys, welcome back to Video List with Hena and today we're going to focus on building the strength on your upper body and your core. So when you're ready, just draw an image and let's begin. Alright, so let's sit tall with your back in neutral and pull your belly button in, shoulder down and open your chest, inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Couple more times here with your own breath. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. You can ground yourself to the mat and feel the connection between the mat and your body. Take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. And one more time. And exhale. Get all the air out of your body. Very good. Now from here, I want you to bring your arm to the side, shoulder down and start to rotate your arms. And five, four, three, two, and one, reverse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly reach your hand to your right and to your left. And to your right and come back to your left. And one more time to your right here. One more time to your left. Bring it back to the center and bring your hand on hand, shoulder down. Slowly rotate your arms to your right and rotate your arm to your left. Keep your shoulder far away from your ears and keep breathing here. Inhale, exhale back to the center and inhale to the other side. Make sure you still pull your belly button in and keep your back in neutral and come back. So three more times each side with your own breath. Two. And last time, bring it back to the other side and bring it down, rotate the shoulder and reverse. Now I want you to interlace your finger, slowly reach your arms all the way up to the ceiling, inhale and slowly lean to your left and come back to your right. Belly button in and lift a little bit. Lengthen your oblique and lengthen your arms and your spine here. Very good. Keep breathing and come back. A couple more times stay with your own breath. And two, to your left, and last time to your right, bring it back to the center and bring your arms down, rotate your shoulder and reverse. Alright, now from here, I want you to bring your arms to the side, inhale deeply, elevate your shoulder and exhale, depress it. Couple more times here. And now bring it to the ulator, slowly close your arms to the front and open it to the back couple more times again with your own breath all right now lengthen your arms to the side slowly inhale and lean on one side lengthen your waist lengthen your arm and come back to the other side and bring it back so three more times each side open the shoulder a little bit further to the back Keep breathing here. And last time, to your left and come back to the center, bring it down, rotate the shoulder one more time and reverse. Now from here, I want you to slowly come to own four position here. Put your shoulder far away from your ears, open your arms, shoulder apart and your leg hip width apart. Tuck your feet here, inhale slowly. Keep the knees up and exhale, bring it down 10 times with your own breath. Belly button in. 8, 7. Inhale up, exhale down. 6. And always make sure your shoulder on top of the wrist. And don't let your back here. Use your core to support your lower back. 3, 2, and last time, slowly bring it down. Now articulate your spine, open your chest, put your shoulder down and look up to the ceiling. Pull your belly button in, chin to chest, round your spine up. And a couple more time here with your own breath. Exhale, chin to chest and inhale, articulate your spine, arch your back, look up. And three more times. Each vertebra at a time. 
Use your breath to control the movement. And last time, round your spine. Bring it back to the center. Now from here, I want you to slowly tuck your feet. Inhale and exhale. Lift your knees up and lengthen one leg to the back. Lengthen the other leg to the back. Make sure your shoulder on top of your wrist here. Rotate the eyes on the elbows facing each other. Inhale and exhale. Slowly bend your knees down and to the other side. Now lengthen, lift it up and bring it down. Slowly with your own breath and to the other side. Bring it down. Keep breathing and keep your back neutral and don't arch your back here. Very good. And we'll do it one more time. And bring your knee down and the other knee down. Now take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Now from here, I want you to slowly bring, lengthen one leg to the back and I make sure that you keep your hips parallel here. Slowly inhale, lift your knee up and exhale. Bring it down and lift it up. Bring it down. Engage your core as much as possible. And we try to do it five more times with your own breath. Four, three, two, and last time. And bring it down. Bend your knee and lengthen to the, to the other side. Lift it up and down. Keep breathing. Belly button in. Eyes and elbows facing each other. And shoulder far away from your ears. Make sure your hips are balanced. Very good. And three, two, and one. Bring it down. Bend both knees down. And slowly come back to try pose. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. And when you're ready, I want you to slowly allow yourself to lie down on your stomach. Now, pull your belly button in and bring your leg up. Squeeze your butt. Pull in your core as much as possible and press your shoulder towards your hips here. Slowly beat your heels 10 times with your own breath. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly bring your legs down. Now from here, I want you to inhale, skip below down towards your hips. Pull your belly button in and lift your torso up. Inga your core as much as possible and bring it down. Couple more times here with your own breath. Lengthen your neck. Inhale up and exhale down. Five more times. Open your elbows. Keep your forearms parallel to the floor. Four. Make sure you engage your core to support your lower back. Three. Keep breathing. Two. And last time. Inhale, lift. And exhale down, shake your hips from left to right. All right, now from here, keep your hand neck to your chest. Close your elbows to the back. Now hand, lengthen your neck here. Inhale slowly, press to lift your torso up. And exhale, bring it down. Still open your leg here with apart here. Press your hip bones down to the mat. And in your core to support your lower back. Eight more times with your own breath. Inhale up, exhale down. Press your feet down to the mat and keep breathing. I want you to squeeze your inner thighs together. Now squeeze your butt. Contract your pelvic floor muscle here. Inhale, lift and exhale down. Five, four. Make sure you always keep your elbows close to the back. Two, and last time. Bring it down slowly. Take a deep breath, shake your hips. Now from here, I want you to inhale, lengthen your head, your hand over your head. Now, open your arm and straighten your arms here. Inhale, lengthen your neck, slowly lift one arm and opposite leg up. Bring it down, belly button in. To the other side, in your core, lengthen and activate your feet. And to the other side. And to your left. Keep breathing. Inhale up, exhale down. And to your right, lift and bring it down slowly and use the breath to control the movements. Very good. And we try to do it three more times to each side. To your right, to your left, keep breathing, inhale up. Lengthen your neck, exhale down, keep looking down to the mat to make sure you don't put a lot of pressure on your neck. All right, and two, 
to your left, and last time to your right, last time to your left, and bring it down. Shake your hips from left to right. Very good. Now from here, I want you to slowly allow yourself to come back to tripod position. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale, shake your hips, shake your body a little bit here. And when you're ready, come back to your own forward position. Open your leg hip width apart, tuck your feet here, open your arms, shoulder apart, and eyes on elbows ro rotate to facing each other. Tuck your feet here, inhale, and exhale slowly, lengthen your leg, and lengthen the other leg, come to full plank. Now one knee, move toward your elbows, and to the other side. Belly button in and make sure you always lengthen your neck here. Keep breathing and we try to do it five more times. Each side to your right and to your left. Four to your left. Three. Make sure your hips stabilize and lengthen to your left. And two more times. Inhale and exhale. Lengthen. Come back. Last time to your left and bring your knees down. Come to try pose, take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. Very good. And when you're ready, slowly come back and lean on one side to do psychic siri. Now one hand support your head here. Open your arm in front of your chest and press it down. Pull your belly button in and lengthen your leg to the front of the mat. I want you to keep your hips on top of your hip. Slowly not fluctuate but stabilize your hips here. Inhale, lift your leg just above your hip here and dorsiflex with your foot. Inhale, lift it all the way up and exhale, bring it down. So make sure that you lift it all the way up but stabilize your hips here. Shoulder down far away from your ears. Very good. And five, keep breathing. Inhale up, exhale down. Four. Belly button in and squeezing the thighs together. Three. Two more times with your own breath. Press your bottom feet down, foot down. And last time, inhale, lift, exhale down. Now press your arms down, angle your core, and move your leg to the front and to the back. To the front. Keep your leg parallel to the floor and to, black, to the back. Keep moving here with your hips stabilized and your core engaged very good three and two more times last time with your own breath inhale to the front exhale come back and bend your knees a little bit here now i want you to lengthen it again now this time find a balanced spot here inhale Lift your leg just above your hip and the other leg and down. So this time we try to lift the bottom leg up until we touch the top and bring it down. Squeeze your inner thighs and make sure you engage your core as much as possible. Belly button in and three, two, activate your feet and last time bring it down and bring the other leg down. Bring your knees up to 90 degrees here. Now inhale, lengthen your top leg to the front so make your hip make your hip square here pull your belly button in activate your feet and lift your leg up bring it down a couple more times with your own breath keep breathing and lift and bring it down with your own breath shoulder down into your core to support the lower back here and three two and last time, slowly bring it down, bend your knee and keep your heels down. Open your knees up to the ceiling and come back. So keep your knees 90 degree here. Belly button in still. And a couple more times, say with your own breath. Very good. Keep breathing. Squeeze your inner thighs together. And three, two, and last time, open, bring it back. Now lift your heels up, open your knee and close, open and close. Very good, keep breathing and don't hold your breath. So we do it five more times with your own breath. Four, squeeze in the thighs. Two more times and last time lift 
and bring it down, heels down, stretch your hips a little bit here, and slowly, when you're ready, roll to another side, to the sidekick series on the another side. Now lengthen your leg here, pull your belly button in, keep your hips on hips, and keep your hand in front of the chest, shoulder down, slowly lift your leg just above your hip, dorsiflex with your foot, inhale, lift it all the way up to the ceiling, and bring it down, and lift and bring it down. Couple more times, stay with your own breath. Good. Keep doing it and keep breathing. And three, two, lift it all the way up. And last time, bring it up and down. Now slowly press your foot down to the mat and bring your leg to the front, the top leg, and bring it to the back. Make sure you stabilize your hip here. Okay, keep breathing. Squeeze your inner thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscle. And four, three, belly button in. And two more times with your own breath. Last time, bring it back. And now bring it down. Just and lift it up just above your hip again. Pull your toes to the front here. Again, I want you to find a balanced spot here. Shoulder down, inhale and lift your lower leg up. Exhale, bring it down, lift it up and bring it down. So we try to do it a couple more times. Inger your core as much as possible and squeeze in the thighs. Two. And last time, bring it back and lift your leg down. Bring it down. Now keep your legs 90 degree here. I want you to inhale. Slowly allow yourself to lie down on your back. Alright, now from here, pull your belly button in and open your leg hip width apart. Keep your feet flat here and bend your knees, bring your arms up to the ceiling. Inhale slowly, look toward your knees and draw your hips up each vertebra at a time. And bring it down. Belly button in, inhale, lift and exhale slowly down. Make sure you keep your hips balanced. So don't shift it to one side or to the other side. Very good. Press your feet down and your legs parallel to each other when you're lifted up and down. The distance from your knees to stay same, the same and don't closer, shorter or longer. Very good. And three. Two each vertebra at a time. Lift and down. Last time. Inhale up and hold it here. Look toward your knees to protect your neck. Slowly chin your chest. Lift your heels up and bring it down. Belly button in to protect your shoulder and your lower back. And five, four, three, two. And last time. Bring it down slowly and slowly draw your hips down each vertebra at a time. Shake your hips from left to right, very good. Now arms along your body, press it down. Inhale, and I want you to keep your heels and your knees together. Now keep your feet flat. Slowly draw the hips all the way up again. Now lift one leg up and lengthen it. Slowly bring it down and come back. So five more times with your own breath. Four, make sure you're 
Hip stabilize here. Press your arms down, your shoulder down. Two, activate your feet. And last time, lift and bring it down. Bend your knee. Slowly draw your hips down. Shut your hips from the to right. And I want you to slowly draw your hips up again. Make sure you stabilize your hip here. Lengthen your leg all the way up to the ceiling. And bring it down. And lift it up. Press your foot down. Press your arms and shoulder down. And keep breathing here. Belly button in. And three. Two. And last time. Bring it down. Bend your knees. And slowly draw your hips down. Shake your hips from left to right. Very good. Now open your arms to 45 degrees. Slowly bring your leg up to 90. And the other leg up. Stick your heels and your knee together. Activate your feet here. I want you to slowly inhale. Bring your right leg to the right. And lengthen. Come back. Close. Inhale. Open. And lengthen. Bring it back and close. Belly button in. And make sure you keep stabilize your hip here. To your left. Squeeze in your thighs to bring it back together. And to your right. Lengthen like someone pulling your leg away. And to your left. Four. Three. Keep breathing. And two. Last time to your right. And the very last time to your left to make it balanced. Very good. Now from here, I want you to slowly bring one leg down to the mat. Come back and to the other side. Make sure your back's not arching here. In your core as much as possible. And we do it six more times. To your left. To your right. And to your left. Four. Squeeze in your thighs. Three. Belly button in and contract your pelvic floor muscle. Two. And to your left. Last time. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale to your left. And exhale to your right. And come back last, the very last time to your left here. Now hug your knee to your chest. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale, shake your hips a little bit. Now from here, lengthen your leg, make your leg 90 degree under your knees here and your hips square and then lengthen your arms along your body. Now lift your head and shoulder up, pull your belly button in. I want you to inhale and start to pump in your hand. Inhale five times and exhale five times. I want you to lift your chest a little bit more and keep the chin to the chest to make sure that it, you don't put a lot of pressure on your neck and if you still feel like tired on your neck you can use your hand to support your head and use your whole arms to pump up and down here stick your lower back down to the mat keep breathing activate your feet chest a little bit up more scoop your belly and inhale Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. And keep doing it with four more sets of breathing. If you want more challenge, lengthen your leg and lengthen the other leg. Keep breathing here and make sure you keep your back in neutral. And three. Squeeze in the thighs. And last time, breathe and head down, shoulder down, hug your knee to your chest. Take a deep breath here, inhale and exhale through your mouth. And one more time, deep breath and exhale. Very good. Now from here, I want you to slowly bring your arms along your body, press your shoulder down and reach your hand toward your heels. Now lift the leg up all the way up to the ceiling and then bend one knee 90 degree. Inhale and exhale, switch to the other side. And I want you to stabilize your hips here. Keep your back neutral, belly button in, lengthen and to the other side and lengthen and to the other side. So five, to your left, four, to your left, three and to your left, last 
two more times and last time beautiful now bring it back to 90 degree inhale stick your heels and your knees together this time a little bit harder I want you to bring both legs all the way up to the ceiling and come back inhale lift and exhale down chin to chest here keep your back in neutral press your shoulder down three two and last time lift all the way up now this time open your arms to 45 degree press your shoulder down your whole arms down open your legs and come back and bring it down make sure you don't arch your back here so only bring your legs down until you feel like your back start to arching and stop and bring it back right away very good open belly button in and down and back if you feel it's still too challenging for you you always can bring one leg down at a time and the next time when you bring it back change to the other side very good and five inhale open exhale come back four belly button in open squeeze in the thighs three more times with your own breath two and last time legs down and up and open and close and bend your knees down hug the knee to your chest now from here take a deep breath inhale and exhale shake your hips a little bit here i want you to arms along your body and press it down again now lift one leg up to the ceiling and then bring one leg down keep your foot down to the mat and again make sure that your knees up to the ceiling so don't open your legs too wide or bring it to the other side just keep it straight inhale dorsiflex and slowly bring your leg down and then bring it to the side come back so make sure that you stabilize your hips here so only your leg is moving here to make a better balance you always can open your arms wider and keep it 45 degree and press your shoulder down so we feel like we drawing a half of circle or maybe like a triangle here with down and open to the side and up and down keep breathing here and make sure you engage your core as much as possible so we do it three more times with your own breath inhale down and exhale open and come back inhale down exhale through your mouth and last time down and slowly open and bring it back to the center bend your knee and bring it down to the other side lift dorsal flex lengthen bring it down to this side come back press the other foot down to the mat to make sure it's not moving and only your leg is moving very good and keep breathing here with your own breath slowly use the breath to control the movement inhale down exhale to the side and come back inhale down and exhale come back squeeze in the thighs and contract your pelvic floor muscle here two more times with your own breath and last time and bend your knee hug the knee to your chest and bring your leg down very good now from here hands along your body press it down again open your leg hip width apart here now slowly draw your hips all the way up press your shoulder down your whole arms down belly button in and start to make a little pose with your hips so make sure you keep your hips balanced your knees still facing up to the ceiling and press your arms and your whole arms and shoulder down to the mat belly button in in five four three two and one slowly all the way drawing your hips down to the mat still keep your hips balance here inhale lift it up and exhale bring it down and five more times inhale lift and exhale down four keep breathing press your feet down and stabilize your hips three squeeze your butt together squeeze your inner thighs together two more times with your own breath and last time 
in her lips and exhale slowly draw your hips down all right now from here shake your hips a little bit here i want you to slowly keep your heels and your knees together not this time i want you to lift your head and shoulder up now bring your forearm up so your shoulder on top of your elbow here pull your belly button in keep your hip parallel and slowly does it flex slide your leg away to straighten it and slide the other leg away now this time inhale open your chest shoulder push it down far away from your ears and then pull your belly button in inhale lift your leg up exhale bring it down to the other side exhale down and a couple more times there with your own breath squeeze in the thighs and contract your pelvic floor muscle and three to your left two keep breathing and last time lift it up bring it down to the other side and bring it down slowly slide your heels closer to your butt and now allow yourself to sit all the way up and cross your leg thank you for joining my workout today and see you tomorrow bye